Hello, it's Friday, October 16th, and welcome to Bleed Green News. I'm Zoe Anderson. And I'm Brady Blundell. The CCHS Thespian Club presents comedy during lunch today in the theater at 11.30. Don't forget, the popcorn is free. Seniors, there are a few special parking permits available that allows access to, the de to designated spaces in the staff parking lot. These permits are available in the office at a cost of $50 for the 2015-2016 school year. Native American tutoring with Carlene Pachanko will be Tuesday and Thursday after school in room M8. The Nevada-bound UNR campus visit for prospective students will be Friday, October 23rd. Pick up a permission slip from Mrs. Niddle in the counseling office and return it before Monday, October 19th. Picture retake day. If you weren't able to have your pictures taken or need retakes, Life Touch will be here on Tuesday, October 20th. All students are invited to the financial aid information presentation in the cafeteria on October 26th, beginning at 645. There will be refreshments and all family members are welcome. See Mrs. Wood for more information. Get your costumes out. October 29th will be Dress Like a Book Character Day. There will be prizes for the best gr groups and pairs as well as the best individual characters. You may purchase a wristband for $2 starting on Monday, October 26th at lunch and after school by the nurse's office. Money earned goes towards funding a local scholarship. If you are dressed up and don't have a wristband, it will be a violation of the dress code. And don't forget to keep your dress school appropriate. This Friday and Saturday, our boys tennis team will be traveling to the Reno Tennis Center for Northern Division 1A Region Championship. Our top doubles team will consist of Miles Ghetto and Eric Sabatino, joined by the number two doubles team, Blake Malkovich and Josh McCulloch. Also representing the Green Wave will be Wei Dang and Thomas Jameson at the regionals who play singles. Good luck to our varsity and JV football teams as they will be traveling to battle Spring Creek. Both varsity teams are tied for first place in the Northern 1A with a 6-0 record. The Green Wave's stingy defense is leading the Northern 1A by only giving up 30 points to the league opponents. That's it with the news today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Zoe Anderson. And I'm Brady Blundell. Have, Have a, a fabulous, fabulous day. day.